Yo, 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 it's Day Day here with another gameplay. Listen, we got a bit of a banger, all right? Try to cut out as much as I could without getting rid of too much. So it's a little bit long, so I ask you to stick with me throughout the entire video. We're going to break down how I got this dub in solo, so this way you can do the same thing. But you got to stay through the entire video. Let's get it. All right, so I think two minutes was cut out on this. All right, we just dropped in. This is post Season 4 uh, update. Yeah, post-season 4 update. The mid-season, okay? So, I get a bounty. This is my going for my second kill. Chasing this guy. I love this pistol with a passion. This pistol is amazing. This guy comes right on out. Doesn't even inspect it. Uh, I don't know where the red doors are uh, for this one. Except for hospital. I know there's one in hospital. I don't know if it goes there all the time or not. I'm, I'm doing my research, trying to figure it out. Uh, but as soon as I know, hey, you guys will know as well. Get that advanced UAV, not gonna chase down this bounty, not an issue whatsoever. But look at Salt Mine. Salt Mine is a landfill of kills just waiting to happen. I mean, you guys are gonna see it. I I, I decimate a lot of kills. So with having the advanced UAV up, I'm able to see where people are facing, where people are going, and counter them on that. Make sure I'm shooting them in the back or the side so they don't have an opportunity. I want to take away the 50-50 gunfight. So if you get an advanced UAV, that's what you want to do as well. Pre-fire on that guy. While he's plating up, I'm just going to push him. There's no way of him finishing me off. I'm able to break him real quick. That, like I said, that pistol, that, that pistol that has ground loot now, the Amp 63 is insane. I'm thinking about leveling it up and seeing how it does against other guns. I'm thinking, hey, you might hear it first. Meta, all right? Thinking it might be meta. I'm going to have to level it up. I'm going to see. Right now, I'm enjoying the... Uh, OTZ or OTS or whatever that, that gun's called. Anyways, now we're four kills deep. Still got 104 to go or 103 minus me. Uh, we're still in the first circle. It's closing up now. Or not closing up, but it's about to start closing. So we got 20 grand. What do we do with 20 grand? We spend it. That's what we do. So we're going to go over and grab our loadout. Grab a UAV. Maybe grab a self-res too. Uh, this game happened a couple days ago. So I'm just trying to get caught up. Make sure you guys got plenty of content from when I go out at sea in a couple weeks. Or I'll be gone for a couple weeks. So I don't want this channel to go without a video one single day. All right. There we go. Look at all these people over here, man. They're dying off quick, though. Uh, so I want to try and get to them as fast as I possibly can. I got a dead silence in the pocket. I also got a UAV in the pocket. So we're going to be pushing this real quick. Guy sitting in the bottom. He's uh, getting his marshmallows ready for the campfire. You know, I hate, hate to ruin it. But uh, 4th of July is over with. The campfire is over with, too, boys. Look at this. He's just standing in the doorway. Don't stand in doorways, guys. All right. Here's your first. Here's your second tip of this video. When you're standing in door uh, doorways, it's kind of like you have a target. Like, you know, you become like the bullseye in a target because you got the door frame around you. So don't don't stand there. Either go in or go out. You know what I mean? That's what your parents told you growing up. Either inside or outside. Same thing. Got to pick it. Got to pick either inside or outside. All right. So. Trying to figure out where this guy is. That I can hear him above me. I thought there was another guy downstairs, but uh, I was I was sorely mistaken. So I don't want to push up here because I think he's in this corner. So I'm just going to double check, and he is with a riot shield. Why? Why are you sitting there with a riot shield? He was so mad. He was like, "What? Hell!" Well, you were just sitting there, and I jumped around. If you guys want to know how you defeat a riot shield guy. Uh, this is I spent like a minute chasing this guy and I finally got him cornered in this. I guess he thought he was safe. So right now I'm just peeking and beaming because he's got more cover than I've got. So I just wanted to be a little weak and he's trying to snipe. And it, it's no match once I had him weak. I was able to push him. But if you're looking to beat a right shield, really it's just fast movement. You know, going left and then side canceling to the right, the video, and spinning, get, getting like behind really them. So it just takes some also finesse. That's where slide canceling and practicing that. I ran past this guy. Know he shorts was playlist. There. But he pulled up on me and sniped one. me earlier Please on, me. and I didn't die, but he just seemed to know where I was at. At first, I thought he was hacking, to be honest. But I don't, I don't, don't think he was hacking because this guy was lost in the menu. I don't know what was going on. He might have a UAV, whatever the case may be. But we got a guy pushing up over here. Going back to what I was just saying, though. I'm all over the place, boys, and I'm, I I do apologize. But hey, do me a favor real quick. If you're enjoying the video, if you're enjoying the fact that I already have eight kills and I haven't even left Salt Mine yet, drop me a like. Do me that. Drop me a like. Let's see if we can hit 30 likes on this video. It would help out a lot. So just practicing finesse, you know, getting around an opponent. 
try to slow down your gameplay. Because slow is smooth, smooth is fast. We've all heard that in Shooter before. All right, easy to get him. He thought I was behind a barrier when I wasn't, and I was pushing him. Um, I got this guy right here. Listen, he's got his marshmallows and his campfire. He's been roasting for a good 20, 30 minutes into the game, and the game's not even on for 10 minutes yet. All right, okay. He's, he's, he's roasting. He was there before we got there. He made reservations at this camp spot, but I'm Smokey the Bear, and I'm coming to put it out. So you just got to track him down, figure out where he's at. Eventually, this man gets, he knows that I'm right next to him. So he's like, oh, truck, truck. I'm going to, I'm going to die. My original plan, I remember thinking this during the game, is I wanted to throw my C4 on the truck and as he drove off, blow it up. That's what I wanted to do. But I wasn't close enough to the truck, so I just shot him in, in the back. All right, so 10 kills deep. 90, what is it? It's $8,700. What are we going to do with that money, boys? Comment down below right now before I say it. I'm going to give you three seconds. You already said it? We're going to spend it. That's right. We're going to spend it. No. This guy. He's, I believe he said, like, how? I need to I need to get headphones as I'm doing this so I can listen to what they say. Because you guys are able to hear what they say. I know. I digress. We're going to spend that money. That's right. You guys got it right. Thanks for commenting down below and let me know what we're going to do. This lets me know you guys are, you guys are in tune. So we get our UAV, get a backup UAV. We're going to grab this truck, or maybe I'm wrong. Oh, oh, dead silence. That threw me off. I originally was going to get the truck, but the dead silence, you know, ADHD. It gets you sometimes, you know. Uh, you get distracted, distracticated. So that's a word. We're making out a word here. Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> Smell that? That's smoke. That's smoke. Oh, good. I thought we were about to start camping. I thought I smelled the campfire. Oh, all right. What's he going to do? Yeah, you can shoot through the wall. Didn't know that you wall bang right there. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. But, uh, yeah, if someone's camping up in that tower, it's kind of easy to push him out by doing that. And that's exactly what he did. He jumped out. Now, it's blood in the water and I'm a shark. It's time to go get him. So, there's now, I don't know if this has always been there. I don't think so. I think this came with the Cold War update. But there's this ladder right here. That you can take. But you got to know how to work it. Ladders are confusing to me. I don't know what it is. I struggle for 30 minutes with this damn ladder. For some odd reason. But uh, I got the dead silence. It's almost over with at this point. And this, like he forgets he was just shot from stadium. Like he just forgot about it. He's not even worried about what's going on. But that's okay. Adds our 12th kill. We're going to push forward man. I mean, I got, I think it was nine kills total in salt mine. So if you guys aren't dropping salt mine, listen. It's a hot drop, but it's not because you're so much area. So you got plenty of but, but words. You got plenty of places to drop and get your loot before you get involved. Okay? Or if you just want to get involved immediately, there's lots of kills. So solos, definitely check it out. Uh, duos and trios the same way if the line is going past. Watch this, guys. Watch this heady. This guy's up there just camping it away. But I got something better for him. Yeah, right through the truck. Right through the truck. He was so mad, but that's okay. Because I'm Smokey the Bear. I put the fire out. Man, that's a good spot right there. All right, so 13 kills deep. I'm feeling pretty good. It's still a pretty healthy lobby. I mean, it's... 21 people left. Uh, third circle closing in. Now we're in the fourth circle. Gulag is still open. So there's still room for people to come back. Um, and then this building right here. Clearing out this building. I'm, I will have cleared out this entire sector. So we're going to push forward in there. I call him my UAV because I didn't know if he was already upstairs or not. Uh, I can see the red, the red steps. I just wanted to throw that to be on the safe side in case he was sitting around the corner or something like that. But I get lucky right here. 120% lucky. Sometimes, guys, it's better to be lucky than good. But this man was just crouch walking. So, again, it goes back to one of my original tips that I've said. Crouch walking is something you should not be doing. Um, there is a time and a place for it. But that's not it. You know, if you're being hunted, no, nah, you shouldn't be crouch walking. You sure shouldn't be sitting in the in the corner somewhere. This guy should have had me, but 
he just stopped shooting. I'm not exactly sure why. So I get lucky twice, you know, pretty much back to back. And I get lucky a third time, but it's not that I almost lose a gunfight and, and I just have better uh, aim. And that's where that comes in while I'm able to win those gunfights, especially that last one. I just happened to run right here. That's where I get lucky to third is just seeing that guy. But having better aim is what helps win those quote-unquote lucky gunfights like the one I just won in the building, right? So pushing up. Now I want to get high ground, right? So now it's time to start playing a little slow. There's two people left. Um, and having this high ground over here is very, very crucial. Notice how I'm riding the circle in at this point. I want to make sure nobody comes from behind. I've cleared my right. Now I'm trying to clear the left and then kind of clear what's in front of me as well at the same time because this is pretty open space. So I'm just trying to figure out where they're at, uh, and I'm just listening for gunshots because there's only two people left. Now I want to catch them in a third party. I want them both to be taking each other's health off, and then after one is finished, I finish the other one, or I finish them both. That's exactly what I'm doing right here. I know they're down below me. I figure they're in this valley, but I'm not 100% certain. And I don't want the circle to go here. I don't want to have to fight someone in the trees. I personally have a hard time finding people in the trees, so luckily I have a precision, so I put that on there. That's the reason for that is if there was someone there, it's not going to push them away, and them running away from an area would let me see. You know, I'd, I'd catch that pretty immediately. So since I didn't see that, I start looking over here, and then I hear gunfire. So he killed the last guy, or he killed the guy that was in the cubby. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.